Zionism for me is not a mysterious concept, it's a settler colonial ideology which ethnically cleansed 800,000 indigenous people, warehoused them in little bits of territory, made the, the indigenous people that are allowed to stay have to be a permanent minority because otherwise it won't carry on being a Jewish state. Jews and Muslims are cousins, they're not enemies. But Zionism needs them to be enemies, to operate. There's a long line of settler colonial ideologies which justify that stuff. What the British and the Spanish and the Portuguese mm. did in the Americas is, is very similar. They, and they had similar ideologies like Manifest Destiny in North America, where they said that well, God gave us the right to civilize this land. We're going to take Christianity and mm. convert the savages. So Zionism goes in that same vein. Thousand year old claims to territory and a country from its indigenous people and given it to imported foreigners. And there were a lot of Jewish people that were against Zionism. I was looking recently actually at some of them and Walter Benjamin, who I'm a big fan of, he was a Marxist theorist on art and culture. He was against Zionism and, and Albert Einstein because they predicted what has happened turns into extreme nationalism and extreme Jewish supremacism, which is what you see with the Netanyahu administration. Unfortunately, it's a, been a catastrophic disaster for the Palestinian people because they had nothing to do with the events that it's often used to sort of justify the creation of Israel, which is the Nazi Holocaust. That was nothing to do with the Palestinians. That was a European crime. Also, anti-Semitism was traditionally a, a European problem because anti-Semitism mostly comes out of Christianity. Jews lived a lot better in the Middle East than they did in Europe for, for many centuries. And now all this history of European anti-Semitism is projected onto the Palestinians. We're, we're made to think that they're all rabid anti-Semites and that they resist Israel because they're anti-Semites, when of course the, the resistance of the Palestinians is about resisting a settler colonial regime which oppresses them. Every Any group would do that to any other group, would resist that. It's not a religious war, it's an oppressed and oppressor war. Also been to Palestine twice and you see what Zionism means on the ground. It's For me it's just like the total negation of the human spirit in every way. It's about division. It's about control and it's about separating people based on religious or racial uh, characteristics. It's just hell. It's hell. It was a profound experience for me going to the West Bank and staying there. Because, uh, I definitely wasn't the same when I came back because when you see apartheid up close and the results of a settler colonial ideology like Zionism up close, you understand that it, it doesn't get much worse than that. It's just awful. Jews were oppressed and br treated brutally for centuries. I can understand why some people would come to the idea that we need our own country. The problem I have with Zionism is to locate that in Palestine. Why put it on other in Palestine? And they, their argument is, oh, well, we have the right to that because we lived there 3,000 years ago. But to me, that's like, that's, that's for kids.